Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an absolute treat for all you fans out there. The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 8 Review, Apple. When the young physician took on the case of a patient with autism on The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 7, she encountered prejudice from an unexpected source. That was the big question. Dr. Jared Kalu kept wondering what he could accomplish as a surgeon in the interim. He made a crucial error that caused him to doubt everything since he was so determined to show that he was a skilled surgeon. I would be remiss if I did not begin by bringing up Paul Dooley's portrayal of Glenn. Dooley is an amazing actress who has starred in numerous amazing movies and television shows, like Sixteen Candles and Parenthood, Er, and Grey's Anatomy. I knew we were going to be in for a treat the moment I saw his name listed as a guest star. Dooley always endows his characters with a certain kind of warmth. I find comfort in watching him in any role, and this performance was no exception. My heart was broken by the scenes involving Glenn and Jared. I've never cried so hard seeing Glenn die at the end of a television show before. Jared from Chukumadu has swiftly grown to be one of my favorite characters. Every each episode we see of Madu's acting grows stronger, and I can't help but be drawn to Jared as we watch him form bonds with his patients. I adore how more of the ensemble is now featured and that the focus has changed. With enough screen time, the spectator can learn more about Claire and Jared than just the folks that shunned Sean in the beginning. While Sean Murphy is an amazing character to watch, the show is enhanced overall when viewers get to interact with and grow to love the other characters. Sean's adherence to the autistic savant stereotype is one of the main criticisms I have heard of the show from autistic individuals or parents of autistic children. It is rare to see characters on television or in motion pictures who have autism. When a character with autism is featured in a film since Rain Man came out in 1988, they typically have savant characteristics. However, savant syndrome is very uncommon in everyday life. I'm happy the writers chose to highlight a character on the autistic spectrum who is not as high-functioning as Sean, and I'm more delighted that they chose to cast a boy who is autistic for the role. Actor Kobe Bird, who has autism, played Liam brilliantly. Although Bird has very few credits, his performance was terrifying and unforgettable. His resume will probably grow as a result of this fantastic appearance. I was even more incensed by Liam's parents' actions than I was by the physician's mistrust of Sean at the start of the series. It shocked me that they wouldn't let Sean into the surgery room. I can't really answer to how I would feel in their shoes because I am neither an autistic person nor a parent of a kid with autism. But I think I would be pleased to see a successful autistic person in the surgical field. Even though Sean was unable to soothe Liam throughout the MRI. He was able to comprehend Liam unlike anybody else. Along with recognizing Liam's red eyes, he made the accurate diagnosis while DRS, Melendez and Brown were blind to it. That would seem to make them more receptive to Sean serving as their child's physician. I'd be interested in knowing your opinions if you have a child with autism. I was relieved that there weren't many flashbacks in this episode. These days, the show only uses them when it really needs them. Sean was given the actual scalpel by Melendez, but first he was given a toy won by his brother. This quiet reminiscence was heartbreaking. It was a subliminal hint at Sean's progress since living on a bus and Melendez's growing confidence in his surgical skills. Another interesting aspect of the story was Claire's unsolved psychological concerns with the patient she lost. I'm interested to see how this plot develops further. Sophie Thomas perfectly captured Claire's suppressed feelings of shame. I was thrilled to see her find solace in Jared, even if it was heartbreaking to see. As a couple, I'm growing to love them. To date, 22 Steps is my favorite hour of the show. It appears that the good doctor has figured out the ideal balance between acting, character development, writing, and pacing to create a compelling and engaging television program. The good doctor is available to watch online. After you have, let us know what you think of this episode. Did you too believe it to be the finest of the season? Your thoughts on Liam's parents? For even more in-depth content, view our playlist for some amazing movie reviews and series insights. May the force be with you, my fellow nerds, as always. Until the next one, see ya. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching!